when you meet Jesus, it's got to bring change. And all change is measurable. Otherwise, it's not change. My name is Corina, and I live in Melaka. I am a Kren, also this is my people, so I hope um, their life will save. I don't like to my people stay in the refugee camp a long time. We have a large population of refugees from Burma who've been sitting in these camps and some of them have been there for 30 years, which means that they were born in the camps and they are stateless. Amongst these refugees, there are stories. There are stories of incredible tragedy and there are stories of incredible hope. Karina is a, a teacher uh, who runs a preschool. Now, when she took over the preschool, she had two things. She had the ability to teach and she has a love for children. And she just took to teaching preschool in the most creative ways that I've ever seen. The kids have come from horrendous circumstances and she's having clean up the world day and she's teaching these preschoolers the concept that we belong to a big world and if we want to affect the world it's going to start by cleaning up Mela Camp. For a refugee to be teaching that kind of a concept to these children to me shows enormous insight. She's written her own Christian curriculum. Uh, she teaches in Thai, Burmese, Karen and English. So some of the camp leaders said to her, Karina, could you train the other preschool teachers in the camp with your curriculum? The teacher from uh, Cran State and also Thai Village come to get training from us. And she was running a training session for these, uh, for these other preschool teachers and the Thai official who oversees the, these camps in all of Thailand came on an inspection tour of the camp and he called her over and said, what are you doing? She said, well, I'm teaching these guys a preschool program that I wrote for refugees. And he said, this is fantastic. He said, I'm going to institute this into every camp in Thailand. And he did. The Kingdom of God is about people being open to God. We get it wrong sometimes because we live in the Western world and we think, God, I'm going to be open to you and you will send me to the nations. But in actual fact, God has been working in the nations for decades and for millennia. And so we go into refugee camps and we bump into Corinna's, who is God's you know, woman of power for the hour, and we get surprised. But we shouldn't be surprised because God is a good God. Uh, I have only two sons. If they stay with me here, they can improve in their life. So they go to Australia with their father. But I love the children. <laughs> so um, when my son will go to Australia, I collect both the kids we, who live with me. I like my job. So, um, very difficult for me. Here is my family, here is my job with my the kids. If I go to Australia, my life is safe and maybe me and my family were happy, but my current people are would live in here. Yeah. 
She has, as a refugee, she has affected thousands and thousands and thousands of lives of young children in refugee camps and in villages, but no one knows her story. I get to meet some people who absolutely rock. They are just in love with Jesus. And when you meet these people and you see that Jesus has changed their lives, it rocks. It sincerely, sincerely rocks. And I get to count these people as my friends.